Hey guys, iPad Rich here, and today I'm going to show you something that's been bothering a lot of people, uh, especially my clients, because they don't understand how to fix this, and it's quite a simple fix. Basically what I'm talking about is your mail settings. So when you're checking your email, for example, you're on your iPad, and you know you get this mail on your iPad, sure, you check it, you delete it, you're good, right? But then they look on their iPhone, and the email is still there and they don't understand why it still has to be there. Then they check their browser, their browser email, or they check their mail app or Outlook, and it's there too. So basically, they have to delete the same email three times in order to get rid of it. Now, that's quite a hassle, especially when you're getting a ton of emails from different people, different sources, right? And I'm going to show you exactly what's going on here and how you can fix this problem. It all has to do with your mail settings, there's two things called IMAP and POP3 and they're running on POP3 and we want to be on IMAP and let me show you exactly how to do this click on settings you click on mail contacts and calendars and from here on you might start off in general so click on mail contacts and calendars from here we are gonna go down to add account and instead of selecting one of these if you've already had problems with this and it's not letting you uh, delete it right away from all different sources, we're simply going to click on other and we're going to click on add mail account. Now from here on, let's just say I'm iPad rich. Okay, I'm going to put in a simple password, one, two, three, four. This is the email part. This is what we need to confuse the iPad with. What we're going to do is just put in a bunch of mumbo jumbo. So you see those letters at mumbo jumbo dot mumbo jumbo. Okay. It's going to be like, what is this email? This doesn't exist. That's exactly what we want it to do. So now we're going to click on next. It's going to look up the account and it's going to be like, well, the account isn't really there. So it's going to give us two settings. It's going to give us IMAP and POP. Now, if you've been having this problem, if you've been needing to delete your email three times from three different sources, then you've been on this POP account. What you need to do is, on the other hand, select IMAP and be in IMAP. Because IMAP is going to sync it across all the servers, and once you delete it once, it's going to be gone from all the other things that you have it on. So now, we obviously are going to write in the type email, right? And from there on, after we do the email, we do our name, we change up the description a little bit, just make it say, you know, iPad Rich, email, cool. We're going to have to look at our incoming mail server and our outgoing mail server. Now, don't get uh, overwhelmed by this. All you're really going to need to do is, whether you're using Gmail or Hotmail or something like that, you're going to need to just find out which mail servers they use. Usually it's you know, if you're using Google, the server's going to be like smtp.google.com. And, you know, just look up the settings real quick on wherever you want to. Uh, or it's just incoming and outgoing. The username is our email. So for username, it's going to be the email. And password and password here are going to be the password that we use to log into our email. That's really all there is. Make sure you're selected on IMAP instead of POP then find out your host name for outgoing and incoming mail server. You know, when you're setting it up, you should be able to find it inside your browser window because most email clients like Gmail and Hotmail, they'll have it, they'll like give you the settings for it because they know you need to set it up in email programs like Outlook or Apple Mail or anything else really out there. I hope this video helps. Uh, I know I hope this solves a lot of people's problems because a lot of people get frustrated over this. They're tired of deleting stuff. And thanks for watching. This is iPad Rich here. And check the video below to, or check the link below and click through to see my friend iPad Pete. Because iPad Pete can help you with all this stuff and even more and get you the best that you can from your iPad. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.